Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anne, if you don't know me. It is great to meet you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, today's video is going to be my top 10 under $10 favorites right now or of the past little while. Um, I thought that it would just be a good kind of chill video to film. I have not been on YouTube in a little while, in a couple of weeks actually, um, maybe just a week or two, but it feels like it's been forever and that's because I have been really sick and also really busy with work, um, not the best combination. So I'm sorry if you have missed me on here, I have missed you too, but I hope that you all are doing well and without further ado, I guess we'll just get started. <laughs> so the first one that I have to talk about is the Wet n Wild Under the Sheets Makeup Removing Wipe. I use these all the time to remove my makeup, probably for the past like four months or so. These are what I have been using. Um, they're really, really good and they're only like $3. Uh, I never hear anybody talking about these, but they don't burn my eyes, they don't irritate my skin, um, they're actually very gentle for me, and I have pretty sensitive skin, so it's always really surprising to find something that's so affordable that works for me, especially with it when it comes to removing makeup, so definitely recommend giving these a try if you haven't yet, or at least get them to remove swatches, because they are really good for that as well. Sorry, this brush is a little dirty, but this is the e.l.f. foundation brush, and I actually really, really like this. Um, it is a little bigger than the Real Techniques brush, and for that I do really like it. It's very, very nice. It still gets into all those crevices, but it's a little cheaper than the Real Techniques brush. Um, this is really good for like really getting in there, but and like really buffing it out, but this works just as good in my opinion, and this is only $6, so it is a little dirty because I've been using it. But yeah, I really love this brush, and I recommend it. Next up, I have not heard anybody really talk about this blush except for in BoxyCharm videos. This is the Note Cosmetics Desert Rose Blush, and it's so, so nice. And um, it's only $7, and it has like the prettiest orangey, peachy kind of shade to it, and it just makes your cheeks look really nice and flushed and like healthy and pretty without looking like too much, you know what I mean? So I really love this blush and I will definitely be repurchasing it when I run out, but it is a pretty decent pan size, so I think that'll probably be a while. <laughs> Next up, I have never really heard anybody talk about this. This is the e.l.f. Fiji Matte um, Bronzer and Blush Duo, and it looks like this. Um, <laughs> This is actually a really good um, bronzer shade, and I also really like this blush shade as well. And I do like that they are both matte. As far as I know, all of the other, all of the other ones that I know that they have have shimmer in them, um, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But this is like probably five dollars, um, and it's really really good. It's also really great for traveling. I take this with me everywhere, um, and they're just really really good shades and. Um, the shade in here is actually a little similar to the Desert Rose shade, except that it's um, not quite as pigmented and it's a little more pink. So if you want to compare the two, I hope don't know if you guys can see these swatches, but <laughs> figured I would try. <laughs> Ever hear anybody talk about Sonia Kashuk lashes and they are so underrated and so good. These are six dollars. This is the style 635. They are so so good you guys like no joke I wear these almost every day. Of course I don't have them on today. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I normally do. I have like two pairs already that I'm like using currently like switching out between and they're so good. They're like super duper like fluffy and beautiful and they really just like open up your eyes without being like too crazy. Like they are pretty dramatic, but um, I don't think they're too much. You know what I mean? Like I wear lashes every day and I wear these almost every day. So I think that they're a good lash and they've been holding up really well. Like they haven't fallen apart in like two days. You know what I mean? So yeah, I never hear anybody talking about these, but I really, really love them. I 
actually have a concealer to talk about, and I have mentioned this maybe once in a past video. This is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I believe this retails for $9. Um, I just picked it up because I was like needing a new concealer, and I was like, what the heck? Like, it did have pretty good reviews. Um, I've never tried anything from Ulta Beauty, so this was kind of like going out on a limb, but it's a really good concealer. Um, it's super duper creamy and like full coverage. I've never had a concealer that like I don't have to set. And then for some reason with this one, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna try and not set it, see how it goes. It lasted the whole day and it looked really, really good at the end of the day, like considering, you know, like I was probably wearing it for 10 hours and it looked amazing. Like I have it on right now. I did set it. Um, I feel like it does look a little better when you set it. Um, but going without setting it doesn't really make like the biggest difference, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm really happy that I picked this up. I got this in the shade Fair Neutral, which is kind of a warmish undertone to it, and I really love it. Next up, this is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. It has kind of one of those little like triangular tips to it. And I recently fell back in love with this. I was mostly using brow pomades, but I use this. I've been using this for the past couple of days, and I can get a really quick brow with this, and this is super duper affordable as well. Um, it also has a spoolie on the other end, in case you were wondering, so that's always useful to have. Um, I have the shade Ash Brown. They have like four, maybe three other shades, so not like a huge shade range, unfortunately, but um, it is a really, really good brow pencil. I found that some are just like too dry and they won't go on and like especially if you don't have a lot of eyebrow hairs um, that you need to compensate for that can be an issue but this is actually pretty creamy and it does go on pretty well and is buildable which I love. The lip color I'm actually wearing today is the NYX Slip Tease Full Color Lip Oil. Um, and I have the shade Low Key, and this is the only shade I have from them, but I am curious to try more shades because I recently fell back in love with this and I've started wearing it a lot more. Um, and it's actually pretty comfortable, like I've had it on for about two hours now, and I don't really feel it or notice it there unless like I really focus on like feeling it, you know, but it kind of just feels like almost like a lip balm in a weird way, like that doesn't ever fully absorb but it still feels like matte like I don't I don't think it's gonna like go anywhere or like smudge really um, I don't know why it's called a lip oil because it's pretty pigmented and it's not like it's not anything like their actual lip oil which is super hydrating so I do really want to try out more shades from this particular slip tease line this has been a success and I would recommend it Another product I never hear anybody talk about, this is the J-Cat Shine Your Day Shimmery Powder, and I do believe they have glitters as well, but this is in the shade Vanilla, and I'm wearing this on my inner corners, I don't know if you guys can tell at all, but it's basically a super duper finely milled powder, and like the packaging does kind of suck, like it's just like a little bottle, so it's kind of awkward, um, but what I do at least for my inner corners is I take a little pencil brush, and I just dip it in there, just the teeniest teeniest bit and I usually like whack it off and like some comes off the brush but you still get a decent amount on there like a little goes a super long way with this and then I just kind of you know put it on my inner corners just like that and you have a pretty nice poppin highlight for your inner corner um, they also have 10 other shades on the Ulta website and I believe that this retails for four dollars Last but not least, this is the Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadow, and I never hear anybody talk about these again. Like, a lot of these I don't feel like people talk about nearly enough. They're super underrated, but I love this so much. It's super duper pretty. This is in the shade 02 Stars and Stories. It's so, so beautiful. It's like this kind of pinky... I want to say like a rose pink. I'm really bad at describing shades, okay? Um, it's this really pretty shimmery rosy pink kind of glitter. Um, and you put it on your eye and you I kind of like keep my eyes a little bit closed so that way it can dry. Um, but then after that it doesn't budge. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, they have other colors on the Ulta website as well. And they're all 
super duper pretty. This is the only one I've tried so far, but it's so affordable and I don't know why I haven't gotten more yet. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for coming, and I hope that you liked it and will subscribe to my channel and become part of the little family we have going on here. I'm really happy that I was able to come on here and just film a quick video for you guys. I'm still kind of sick. I'm battling through it. I will get better, but I have been sick for about a week now, and it's just been kind of a hot mess. I know you guys, it doesn't really matter that much, but... Anyway, that is where I've been, um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.